Ops and Liverpool top of the pack. But what was the year? You know, it seems like only yesterday the tabloids were writing off George Best, not to mention his extracurricular activities. But good old Georgie boy survived the street of shame. And 70s soccer became recognised as British football's finest hour. Get ready for the action. By the late 70s, English football was beginning to rule the waves, with Liverpool emerging as the kings of Europe. Bob Paisley was now in charge of an experienced team skippered by Emlyn Hughes, with Kevin Keegan a star of stage and screen. Nothing beats a good workout, Henry. And nothing beats a great smell of brew. Oh, yeah. It's flashy on all over, Henry. Here, how would you like to be in a brute commercial? Pick up the whole world in our hands. Pick up the whole world. At home, the greatest threat to the cop was emerging from Nottingham Forest. And even when they weren't singing, Brian Clough was always on hand with a familiar tune. I will stop shouting, I will stop wagging my finger, I will stop inciting people, and then let's all listen, because I just might have a contribution to make. We're simply going to go. Out and a rebound and Future out England rebound. boss Bobby let's Robson do, let's do, let's do. was proving his credentials at Ipswich, grooming a fine side in unlikely East Anglia. But the nation's resident number one, Don Reavy, was busy preparing his escape route as England's international humiliations looked set to continue. The summer of 76, and splashed all over the front pages, was the great heat wave. But the back pages were dominated by talk of the new Anfield army. Never mind water torture, what the first division was worried about was Liverpool torture, as we shall see. In sweltering temperatures, the season opened with the traditional charity shield match between cup winners Southampton and champions Liverpool. And for the players, the start of a long journey which goes on until June. Liverpool, the league champions on the left, Southampton, the cup winners on the right. Callaghan. Keegan, little touch ball. Koscheck! Oh! The old firm at it again. Another great Liverpool performance. And Modis knew it. We knew we were the best side in the league. We knew that teams were frightened of us. You know, we never lost to Anfield, so that means you're going to win a league anyway. QPR, last year's runners up, face Everton hoping to prove they were no one-season wonders. Lions to get in, good save by Parks. And it's gone in! Here's Topa. Taking on John Hollins, the pace, and beating him, and it's there by Latchford! Lions. Quintock couldn't reach it and Latchford may get a break here and it could be four and it is Latchford second The creditors arrived to learn the news that Chelsea's total debts amount to nearly three and a half million pounds but they agreed unanimously to give the club a breathing space of 12 months to try to put their accounts in order. From now on, Chelsea will not be able to have any more credit. Back in the league, Man United and Spurs are both looking for their first win of the season at Old Trafford. Here comes to Koppel. Houston. Koppel on the right foot. What a superb shot! McElroy taking on Osgood and it's come to Koppel. Pearson and again! 
Pearson. Oh, off the line, but was it in? And the referee's given a goal. Cross and Morse came in, and all of a sudden, it's a very different game. Given away in the end by Hill. Pratt. Pratt again. Oh, it's there. Leeds United maestro Johnny Giles is causing a sensation at West Brom. Having led his team to promotion last season, player manager Giles is the inspiration against Man United. Giles. Alistair Brown. And again Giles. Good try. It's worked. Oh yes! Johnny Giles. Again Giles picks out Mulligan. Alistair Brown got up, and it's there! United's unbeaten away record in grave danger. Two goals down and a corner to Albion taken to Giles. Cantello. Good try! Oh, it's there! Len Cantello! And yet again, Johnny Giles was involved. Johnston. Touch from Alistair Brown to Tony Brown, and here's Tracy, and there's number four. What a magnificent move. Meanwhile, Liverpool are limbering up nicely. Aston Villa, the visitors, in white. Oh, slightly backward of McDermott. Barry changing his mind. Ke Keegan couldn't get there. Callaghan, yeah! Johnson. Neil. He's taking it well. McDermott. My way. Hughes. Keegan. Liverpool making the pace, Ipswich and Man City are hard on their heels as they meet at Portman Road, Ipswich in blue. Burchin. And it's looking into the sun as the ball comes across, Weimark going with Doyle, and here's Weimark, and puts it in. Trusty Trevor Weimark on target again for Ipswich, with reinforcements about to arrive. Johnny come lately. To be honest, the lads in the dressing room, when he signed Paul Mariner, we'd never heard of him. He'd playing for Plymouth, and we were amazed. <laughs> 